Welcome back to Space Games and Space Beer with NPC. We are continuing our Dolly Parton inspired playthrough of Starfield. I have just opened up a, another ecliptic Oktoberfest lager from the Moon Room series. It's growing on me. Um, you know, gotta admit, I, I record these sessions, uh, you know, I'll, I'll sit down for several hours to play and during the course of those hours, I will drink two to four beers. And by the end of that session, I'm I'm all like, these are great beers. Oh, I love them all. This is pretty good. It's pretty tasty. It's not a beer that I would choose as my drink of the evening in most occasions. However, if I am presented with a situation where all I can drink are lagers... This one's moving up there to the top. Yeah, I would put it right under uh, Narragansett as one of my favorite lagers. Yep, pretty good. Uh, anyway, we have begun and uh, moved slightly into the UC Vanguard faction quest line. Let's pick up. We're about to... Uh, Flip a switch and see what happens. Okie doke. All right, baby. Let's do it. Man, so much hope in all of these entries. Feel bad for whoever lived here previously. There we go. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Cool, 183.5. Good times, great oldies. We might die. <laughs> okay, I'll take a sip. Here we go. Trackers reading green. And what's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Towards the lights and watch the fireworks. <laughs> Give it hell, Vanguard. Door level 
almost insufficient. Proceed to next power breaker. Uh-oh. Ooh, I gotta take a pause to sip my beer. <laughs> That's the only one on the ground. We're gonna get the ones up top first. Additional power input required. See how well this coachman does. We can do this. In case we die, here's the save point.
<laughs> oh, thank you, turret friends. Your sacrifice was not in vain. At least two of you are still there. All right. The Mantis wins again. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait, you did it, didn't you? <laughs> Essence above, you just flatlined a terror morph. I believe. No, no, no. Yep, I'll taken care of. <laughs> oh yeah, taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Can you? Really learn much from one little sample? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? Here you go. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Uh, where's your gun, bro? There it is. <laughs> can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. But no one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. How does no one know how terramorphs get onto human worlds? Aren't they kind of hard to miss? Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. 
The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. I'm sure there's a rational explanation to this. There is. I mean, there has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Why would my commander know who you are? You with the UC military, too? I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. You're right. Don't worry, I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. Well... What we're going to do is loot pass on this. If you want, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the next point on the uh, little countdown thingy. The uh, timestamp. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. And we'll uh, pick up from there. Or you can watch as I loot this place and find all of its secrets. Or as many of them as I feel like picking up. I am really surprised that Terramore didn't fucking murder me. Huh. Okay. So, that's that building. I think we've already looked through that building a lot. Oh, looks like a storage container. Nothing? Oh, there we go. Nothing. Let's just go to the far end of this place. <laughs> All right, sure. find a way up there and my jump jet is just not doing it there we go
Yuzig, Isaac. Yuzag, Isaac. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail. Need polishing. I've already been through here. Yeah. All right. I think that about covers this place. Evisceration. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I don't need that.
Okay, we are done with the loot run. Let's move on with the mission. First. Let's drop off all the junk. Okay, we want to head back Captain home. Captain Harper, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Let's put this bird into space. get the hell out of here. Sell some things. Always another delivery. Now, were you looking to make a purchase? Let's trade. If your credits are good. That's a fancy ship. There's something you needed then? I can probably help you out.
new Atlantis. The sheer scale of the city is astounding. Of course, for someone of your stature, I'm sure it feels quite cramped. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Sorry, buddy. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. I need your permission to deliver a terror morph tissue sample to Mars. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Things didn't go as advertised. Only one alive was a researcher who gave me a sample and a gene tag. A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war. It was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. <laughs> Xeno warfare that doesn't sound good. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume. But considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She's afraid there could be more attacks like the one that wiped out the people of Tal City. She thinks there could be more of these? This... Uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Nice.
First thing we're gonna do though is run downstairs to the local trade authority. What what? Oh, I didn't hear it. Ah oh, well. Sometimes those news reports are pretty awesome and they talk about you and how cool you are. Anyway, gonna run by the trade authority here and sell some more of my goods. They tend to have the most money and with this mod I've installed, they definitely have the most money. Keep it moving. You have a nice day now. Fortunately, I gotta talk to this bitch. Think about the if there's something you need, be my guest. I mean, I like the look, but the mantis suit is better in every way. So... Yep. Uh, maybe I'll give it to my buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Give it to my buddy. <laughs> you need anything else? You know where to find us. Here he comes. Do you need anything? Of course, oh kind. Being part of your crew is just the best. Another day, another ship. Okay, I uh, think I have emptied a whole lot of the stuff I was carrying. At least the junk. Let's check up on her, see if she's got a drink for me. Hope life is treating you well. <laughs> Let me know if I can get you anything. Oh, she gave me Catch one. She gave me several. Damn. You know what? While we're here. We can do that one. 
and we can do that one. Let's set that as a thing, something we can kind of do on the way. <clears throat> oh, all right, whatever. We'll deal with the ship modifications later. I appreciate that we got some upgrades, but we'll save them for later. For now, we're going to enjoy the Razor Leaf as is. And I have just finished my beer, therefore, good timing. We're going to bring this to a close. This has been Space Games and Space Beer with NPC on my Dolly Parton inspired playthrough of Starfield. The drink of the evening has been the Oktoberfest Lager from Ecliptic Brewing, their Moon Room series. And it's lagers go. It's pretty darn good. Anyway, I'll catch you next time as we continue. Well, no. We're going to do a really quick delivery and maybe go murder a uh, pirate. And then we will continue the UC Vanguard mission.